Hello there. I am almost 22, which is wild, but I thought I would make a vlog kind of thing. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try to make it like a vlog, but also reflecting on the last year and being 21. Honestly, being turning 21 and this whole past year has been probably the best year of my entire life. I feel like I want to really remember it. While I'm preparing my breakfast, I'm going to talk. Last March, I turned 21 when I was in California with my friend Izzy and my friend Caitlin, and it was really amazing. And I, it was like the best freaking birthday ever. Like I got to hike in the redwoods on my birthday and like I went to this really good Indian food place and they didn't even card me when I ordered wine which was like come on come on but it was really amazing and then I came home and I got into my grad program I just I totally forgot that, that happened last March but yeah that was right after spring break I got the email that said that I was accepted and so I got into grad school which is amazing yeah that's basically everything that happened in March and yeah, so now I'm just gonna make myself some coffee. Think about what happened in April. In April, I got accepted to get published in the literary magazine on my campus, which was amazing. Then I saw Lord, which was absolutely life-changing and amazing. And it was literally the best concert I've ever been to. Even though it was a giant arena, it felt better than any intimate concert I've ever been to. It was incredible. And then my band recorded our album, or at least the like bass tracks for it. I'm not in the band anymore, but the band that I was in recorded our album. I'll link it down below. Girl Gaze's album, Fade Out. I'm just on Sun Song and Shadow. So listen to those ones. I wrote those. I went out to the bars more. I had a really bad night out of bar because like a group of alumni were buying me tequila shots and then I just kept doing tequila shots and that was bad. Pretty much all the important stuff that happened in April. All right, so <laughs> in May, I had my first poem published. I finished junior year. I got straight A's. Um, I count A minuses as, as A's. So I got straight A's. And then Matthew and Kat adopted Margo, Miss Margo, and I got to meet her. Mwah. Yeah. <laughs> You're just here for the dog content, I'm sure, so. I worked my last shift at my first ever job, which I started in July of 2014. I hated that place. <laughs> they underpaid me and my newest boss was literally homophobic, so that's fun. So I'm just sitting here doing some work. Oh, Margo. And I thought I'd talk about what I did in June. In June, I moved into my first apartment, like a big girl. <clears throat> I went to see Van Stroy, which I wasn't really that into him as a musical artist before I saw him in concert because my friend just got free tickets. So I went to go see him and it was so good. I got really, really into his album. I listened to it all summer. I actually wrote a, a short story based on one of the songs off that album called Little Boy and it's getting published in my school's lip mag. So it really was a good experience. Sorry, there's a dog walking up me. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, oh, and she's gonna go. <laughs> you are so funny. I started one of my jobs. Two of my jobs? I started three jobs in June. I kept two of them. I think that's pretty much it for June. Right, Margo? Are you in the, my shot enough, huh? Are you in the shot enough? No, you're not. You want to be in it more. Because you're a star. Look at that face. Margo, it's you. I'm gonna take a nap now. This is a really exciting day. I know I just got up like probably about two hours ago, but I'm awake because honestly I wanted to sleep in later than I did today. But my internal body clock woke me up. Yeah, so July of this year was honestly amazing. I worked more, finished up my first ever grad class, and then I flew to Italy, which was like, what? Italy? And Italy was the most fun, like most amazing vacation that I've probably ever been on. I went to Rome and then I went to Florence and then my whole extended family got a villa in Tuscany which was just like next level amazing. When I was there, I got really drunk and I came out to my family. Uh, <laughs> check out my coming out video for more info on that. But yeah, so I came out to my family in Italy and then I came out on Instagram when I got home. July was incredible and life-changing and I wanna go back to Rome like every single day, so. August, in August, I started training for my half marathon that I ran in October. I also, I came home for like a weekend. I went to like a nice little family reunion. My brother got engaged, which was amazing. I love my sister-in-law to be cat. 
you know, she's watching this. So that was an amazing time. I was watching um, To All The Boys I Love Before It Just Come Out and I was laying on my couch knowing that my brother was about to propose and being like, love is real. And I did cry, I sure did. The pictures are very cute, they're adorable. Then I started my senior year, which is insane. Wow, I'm about to graduate college. So I started my last fall semester of undergrad. Love that. It's 50 degrees out, so naturally I decided I was gonna wear a dress and do my makeup. So, so in September, I kept training for my half marathon. So I did like a bunch of my longer long runs and they felt really good. This is before I got injured. So like my long runs were killer. I went to my friend Lauren's wedding, which was so much fun. I was up in Buffalo. So I also got to go home before that wedding. And I also went to my cousin Charles's wedding. He married his wife, Casey. They're so cute. It was such a beautiful wedding. It was so nice to see all my family again for the first time since Italy. We were all together except for one of my cousins who had a lacrosse tournament, I wanna say. And I did the photo shoot for my old band's album, which at this point I had already quit, but I was still on the first album, or I am still on the first album, Fade Out, so I was in the photo shoot for that. For like press release photo-y kind of things. And yeah, I think that's actually it for October. Nope, for September, that's it for September. Hello, I'm out walking the puppy <laughs> and I thought I would do the next part of my video. October is the next month. October was a pretty, honestly, it was a pretty fucking awful month. Oh, well, the beat, it started out good though. I went to visit my cousin in New York, which was super amazing. And then I hurt my knee on a long run. I can't remember if that was late September, or early October, but I hurt my knee on a long run and I ran through it, which I definitely should not have done because I ended up really injuring myself and I still can't run without being in pain. And I ran my half marathon and I finished 231.49, I think. My goal that I thought I wasn't gonna be able to reach was like 230, so really happy with that. And then a few weeks after that, my grandpa passed away and I had just gotten in a huge fight with my, one of my roommates. So I like literally, it was probably in the worst mental state that I've been since I was like, honestly, like since I was like 15 or 16, that was October. Started out great, ended up totally miserable. Love that. Hello. I don't know if this angle is any better than my normal angle, but we're trying it out. Oh, Margo's just watching me leave and I am very sad about it. The next month is November. Well, there was Thanksgiving. That was when I made my first video, which isn't public, but I decided to like vlog my family's Thanksgiving thing. And that was really fun. So that's when I decided to start vlogging. Thank you, November, for bringing me here today. That's pretty much all that happened in November, I think. Hey there guys, so I forgot to like finish making this video yesterday because my phone was dying and I was busy. So I'm finishing it now. Right now I'm cleaning a bathroom. I'm cleaning a toilet that is out of shot because I thought that probably wasn't the glamour that you come to my channel for. In December, I had my first presentation in a grad class and then I got back my paper. I got an A minus on it, which, or a B plus. B plus slash A minus because my professor doesn't give just one grade. Moving on from that, this is fine. This is a good angle. This is some supreme content. You can see this great family photo from when I was in sixth grade. <laughs> this is a better angle or a worse angle? It looks like I'm vomiting. Hi, this is better. So also in December, so I had my paper due that I did like better than I expected to do on it. I had my thesis due. I got accepted to speak at my first grad symposium through a Christmas party at my house that was literally the fucking worst thing ever. And someone broke my Christmas tree that I've had for years. Came back home. I got to see my whole family or like most of my family that comes in for Christmas Eve. Hung out with my friend on like New Year's Eve eve the 30th and we got really drunk and when i was really hungover on new year's eve which you can see in vlog form yeah and then i went out for new year's eve and that was december in january i i went to this cool rock girl gang panel thing that was basically four black women talking about how like being an entrepreneur like impacted them and like how their journey might have been impacted by being like a black woman in today's society. And it was really great to get to go and like sit and just listen and like have a space where I meant to just listen and not engage was really good. Then I drove back to school. I started my last semester of undergrad, which is fucking wild. And honestly, that's it. It was a pretty boring month. 
February. I found my apartment that I'm gonna live in next year, which is amazing. I'm so excited to live there. I spoke at my first graduate symposium, which was really amazing and like was just so much more fun and like relaxed than I was expecting it to be. And then also I got into painting, which I didn't really like when I was a kid because it's hard for me to like do things that I just enjoy and not be like good at them. So it's just something that I like that I'm not good at. Well, I don't even know what I'm doing next, but next will be March. <laughs> All right, well, I'm getting meta now because right now the thing that I'm doing well recording this video is editing this video. Wow, wild. March of this year, what has happened? Well, I had a sort of breakup-y thing and it made me realize like how much my friends and family are here for me. And that was like a really big realization in my life, just that like I'm worthy of being loved by my friends and family, which like sounds like it should be something that's obvious, but it's not. And so that was a really good experience for me to get to do that. And then I started vlogging again. I had stopped vlogging for like two months because I was just so busy and so stressed but I got back into it which was great. I survived midterm sort of sort of very sort of. Oh I went wedding dress shopping with Kat and she got her wedding dress obviously I'm not gonna put a picture in. I wrote a lot of songs which was fun and yeah now I'm home and my friend Brianne is coming up today. I'm actually like about to leave for the train station pick her up. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that if you like this you subscribe i don't know if this kind of video was like weird to watch or if it was fun format or what let me know what you think about it in the comments below and let me know what your favorite like year of your life was if you feel like it or if you liked being 21 if you're over 21 or if you're excited to be 21 or what anyways i gotta go so i'll talk to you guys next week i'll be posting a birthday vlog so exciting stuff have a good week guys and bye Thank you.